Here is uh, Ronnie McDowell, some longtime friends of and performers with the late king of rock and roll, Elvis. Here are the Jordanaires, DJ Fontana and Scotty Moore. A guitar man with a great big soul. He lays down a feeling like a ton of coal. He goes by the name of King Grio. You know he's gone all the Jumping like catfish on the floor. He sings a song about a crowded home. He sings a song about a crowded home. He sings a song about a fork and greens. He sings some blues about a New Orleans. You know he's gone, gone, gone. Jumping like catfish on the pole. Something evil, then he plays something sweet. No matter how he plays, you gotta get up on your feet. And when he gets a rockin' fever, baby, heaven sings. He don't stop playing till his guitar breaks. You know he's gone, gone, gone. Jumping like catfish on the pole. Wow. Oh, man. Talk, talk about deja vu. Uh, listen, you, uh, obviously it's going to be very hard to convince anybody that all the rumors aren't true. Because, uh, I mean, Elvis is very much alive here tonight. Ronnie, you... Scotty, what's it like to hear a guy d doing Elvis so beautifully? I mean, so authentically. Well, that's the great thing about it. He does it authentically. And, and, and you're going to be doing it on the road, too, aren't you, Ronnie? Well, you know, we did our first show in Owensboro, Kentucky, at the Executive Inn. I just had an idea I, to put these young folks on the... And I always call them young folks. And this young man and DJ on the show with us. And it turned out so well that now we're doing a, just shows all year. And what we do, I come out and do my show, and then they come out with us, and we do some Elvis songs, and we have fun with it. And I asked him, I want to tell you this, if he ever did any shows with you, and he said... We didn't do no shows with him. He was our competitor. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I was Avis to your Hertz is what I was. <laughs> and you was Hertz and me. I'm, I'm just glad I had six months head start. But uh, you were Elvis's first manager, weren't you? Correct. Right. And uh, I remember seeing that ABC ser series and then the, uh, a colonel. I don't know what he was colonel of. I don't either. Uh, he <laughs> never did find out. <laughs> <laughs> Came well, along. And things began to change. But listen, you guys do it so great, and it's got to be a great feeling for you. It is. You know, this is the first time that he has played. I want to tell you folks this, and all you folks out there, this is the first time that he has played on television since the 68 comeback special. And he didn't want to do it because TV makes him nervous, and I commend him because he's still playing just as oh, good man. as he did. Oh. Yeah, he looks the same. I've read a lot. I've read a lot about the, the guitar players who revere you, man. I mean, uh, Eric Clapton, all these guitar players, they were entranced by what you did. And you are an innovator. You are the original thing. You and DJ back there on the drums. And uh, we're going to keep the Elvis spirit going tonight because here are Ronnie McDowell, the Jordanaires, my buddies. We're going to talk in a while. DJ Fontana and Scotty Moore with one of the King's biggest hits. He had so many mystery train. <laughs>
Make plans to visit Opryland Friday, Saturday, or Sunday this weekend. You can catch a star like Holly Dunn, Tammy Wynette, or Ricky Skaggs. And you can catch a star every night on Nashville Down. TNN and Opryland, the perfect country combination.